Welcome to Digital Radio UK's Drive to Digital 2020 Stakeholder Video Briefing. Over the next 90 minutes, we'll take a look back on Digital Radio's progress over the last 12 months and a look ahead to the key issues and developments for 2021. You will hear from broadcasters, the automotive industry, supply chain and retail experts, government and Ofcom. Let's start with a welcome and introduction from Digital Radio UK's Ford Enels and Yvette Dorr with contributions from BBC's Jonathan Wall and Lorna Clark, Bowers Ben Cooper and Minister John Whittingdale who were speaking at the Radio Academy Radio Festival in November. Hello, uh, I'm Ford Enels, I head up Digital Radio UK. Hello and I'm Yvette Dorr and I'm Communications Director at Digital Radio UK. It's good to see you, Beth, um, and and welcome everybody. This is Drive to Digital 2020. It's a different Drive to Digital than you've probably ever experienced. There's no radio theatre here. There's no British Museum or British Library. What instead we have is a virtual programme of videos that will give you updates on 2020 and look forward to the key developments for digital radio in 2021. Now. I, you don't need to hear from me that what a challenging and difficult year this has been for radio um, and indeed for the country. Um, but what we do believe is that radio has in many ways risen above the challenges and has delivered to, to its listeners, to communities and indeed to the nation, entertainment, news, information, and as I said, has really made its mark. And I think it's a year that the British radio industry can be proud of. So in, in this video, uh, you have the opportunity to sit back and enjoy everything um, in, in, one, in one run. Uh, equally, you have the opportunity to listen and watch to individual modules. Hopefully when you add it all together, it'll paint a picture of digital radio in 2020 and how well it's poised for future growth. Now, Yvette, uh, tell me, uh, how's twenty twenty been for you? Uh, well, it's been it's been an, it's been an interesting year, and uh, as you say, a year like no other. Despite the challenges, um, the radio industry has not stood still. We've had some hugely exciting developments in terms of station launches and content initiatives, and uh, we'll be sharing more about those in a digital station news and content update later. Thank you, Yvette. That, that's brilliant. And we're obviously very much looking forward to hearing more about the station news and the, the other developments from 2020 later in this, in this video. But before we get going, what I wanted to do was share with you some of the comments made by some of the broadcast leaders and indeed the, uh, the Minister John Whittingdale. Um, and they, they were talking at a Radio Academy event, the Radio Festival, just a, a few short weeks ago. And I think what they did was very much underline the role of radio this year and the importance of radio this year. And we're going to start by hearing from Jonathan Wall, who uh, is controller of BBC Sounds at the BBC. And he, he'll talk a little bit about how important radio is right now. Let's hear from Jonathan. Hi there, radio industry. So 2020, uh, the strangest year the hardest year, but potentially I think the finest year for this great industry of ours. I want you, why, why do I say that? I want you to stop and think for a moment about the crucial role of companionship provided by our presenters, whether they be on national radio, local radio, community radio, giving what I think is a sense of normality uh, in a world that's anything but normal. and. Think about the escapism provided by those great football commentators at Five Live and at Talk Sport. They're sat in empty stadiums, for heaven's sake, somehow trying to convey that drama and excitement of the Premier League, which means none of us, by the way, have to pay £15 pay-per-view because radio's got it all covered. Uh, then there's the information you get from a Today programme, uh, from an LBC show, or indeed your ability to then go and just talk about everything you've heard over on Five Live. And, and let's not forget our music stations, both BBC and commercial, uh, allowing us to enjoy live music performance when we can't get it from a festival, of course, or a club. Great, thanks, Jono. Now let's hear from Bower's new Group Director of Content and Music, Ben Cooper. Here's what Ben had to say about the importance of radio during this time. I think 2020 and COVID has been almost a digital petri dish we have fundamentally changed overnight the way that you and I work and the way that we operate in our day-to-day -day lives. But during that digital disruption, 
there's been a hundred year old technology that has been keeping us company during our enforced isolation. Radio. Radio is booming. What an exciting time. We have got figures that show how many people have been uptaking the use of their smart speaker to listen to radio or to use apps on their phone. And it's great to see and hear Ben as passionate as ever. And here's someone who's new to their role, but not new to radio. Um, it's someone who's got the most wonderful title of, uh, of head of pop at the BBC. It's Lorna Clark. Let's hear what she has to say about how healthy audio is right now. The competition is around the digital space. Mm. So um, what's been great is you look at the health of audio, whether it's in the commercial world uh, with commercial radio or whether it's with BBC radio, mm. it's hugely healthy. It's, you know, people have been calling on the death of, of radio for a long time. Um, uh, Spotify, Apple, all, the, all these things coming and they'll be like, radio's going to die. It's not. Mm -hmm. We have seen, if I compare radio services uh, now to when I started, long time ago, mm -hmm. 1985, it's it, it just it totally exploded. I probably had a choice of three stations if I wanted to stay in London. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely not the case now. So my, my job is across platforms, yeah. but it's all about how do we uh, get the best content around pop for audiences, and it's all ages. Thanks, Lorna. Uh, and lastly, let's hear from John Whittingdale, the Minister of State for Media and Data, on the importance the government places on the radio sector and the vital role it plays. I am very conscious um, that, first of all, Radio really stepped up to the plate to respond to the challenge. Um, the ability of radio to reach audiences and the trust which radio enjoys more than any other form of media um, does make it very powerful and therefore we regard it as, it as very important to support radio. And for instance, the package of support which was made available through all, all the different media for public information wasn't just a sort of bailout. I mean, it was because radio um, is very effective at reaching audiences, and I hope that that will continue, because obviously public messaging remains very important. Jono, Lorna, Ben and, and John Whittingdale have all painted a picture about the important role that radio is playing and how it's set for future growth, and we want to build on that now in this video programme. We want to talk about the specific contribution of digital radio and how digital radio is set for growth in 2021. And to do that, we'll be bringing you updates on station news and station developments. We'll be talking about retail and automotive updates. We're also hearing a little bit about the big news internationally. Plus, we'll have a special presentation on Premier Christian Radio, which celebrates its 25th anniversary this year, from BBC R&D on the energy efficiency of radio platforms. And Ofcom will be sharing an update on the licensing and launch of small-scale multiplexes across the UK. So stay with us and hear all about radio's digital revolution. Good morning. Welcome to Capital Breakfast. It's the Daybreak Breakfast Show on Absolute Radio. Welcome along to your tea time extravaganza. Welcome to radio's digital revolution. Radio has been around forever. Wake up to Capital Radio. But thanks to digital technology, radio is changing and reinventing itself to meet the needs of every generation. Stop! What? You've got your bottom in my <laughs> oh, face. Don't forget to save my life! From what you can hear to how you can hear it, radio is better than ever, with more stars, more shows, more music, and loads more news and sports. And with so many great digital stations, there is something for everyone. And it's not just radio. There are thousands of podcasts all available for free, featuring stars you know and love. I reckon your phone book's amazing. And, in brackets, deck. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Full Disclosure with me, James O'Brien. Brilliant new up and comers with something to say. What does it take for the word to be heard? With more digital stations and more podcasts launching all the time, the only question is what's your favourite? And it's easier to listen than ever before. Listen on digital radios, smart radios, smart speakers, and of course, it all sounds amazing on headphones. We need to be serious. Yes? <laughs> Radio is here for you to hear. So listen up and join radio's digital revolution. If you love radio, go digital.